Hi there, this is Jamie from Time and Space, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick look at the new mastering software from Isotope, Ozone 7 Elements. So basically this is an entry level, uh, more simplified version of the extremely popular Ozone 7 software. Uh, so it takes some of the professional processing features from that and packs it down into a few simple controls. It contains over 75 presets, covering a nice variety of genres such as acoustic, hip-hop, and electronic. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is quickly take you through the controls and features and then we can take a look at it in action. So taking a look at the interface here you can see we have a preset manager um, with all the presets divided into four different folders. Uh, we've got all-purpose mastering, delivery specific mastering, drama specific mastering and signature presets. Um, so you can easily scroll your way through these and find the preset to suit your audio best. Um, next that we have a maximizer, which is basically a digital limiter. So what it will do is reduce the dynamic range of the overall mix, um, and then also at the same time give a slight boost to the level, uh, resulting in a fuller sounding track. Um, the threshold here uh, will determine the point at which the maximizer begins to work. Um, so as the threshold is reduced, more limiting is applied and more makeup gain is added simultaneously. Moving on to the macro controls along the bottom here, um, we've got EQ amount. Um, so each preset has its own different EQ shape, um, and this slider will determine how hard or how subtle it's applied. Um, so taking it down to minus 100% will result in no EQ being applied at all, and then taking it to plus 100 um, will apply double the amount of shaping for a more obvious change in tone. Um, the dynamics amount determines the blend between uncompressed and compressed audio. Um, so the higher the percentage, um, the more compression applied. And finally, in this trip here, we have a few more features. So we've got a bypass button, which is useful for comparison. Um, but with the maximizer and dynamics in use, the overall level of the mix uh, can be affected, which makes it quite hard to compare in bypass mode. Um, so to resolve this, if you click this ear icon here, um, this will automatically match the effective gain um, when bypassed, which makes comparison a lot easier. Uh, then we have an undo history, which is a really nice feature if you wanted to go back and change anything. Um, next to that we have this options menu, um, which just has a few more advanced metering options in it. And finally, the question mark will bring up a help documentation guide. So now what I'm going to do is play you two different demos, um, consisting of just some very basic loops and then I'll apply some presets and tweak some controls uh, so you can hear the results. So as you can hear, some nice subtle changes in tone and dynamics there. So if you're just getting into music production or already make music and just want an easy way to master your tracks, then I'd highly recommend those in 7 Elements, because it really does retain the quality of all Isotope products. For more information on Ozone 7 Elements, just visit our website at www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.